If it's just us, we'll definitely get tased. Come on. <laughs> of the second weekend of the 2018 Florida uh, Kansas Renaissance Festival! <laughs> Whip out a huge flask in the back of our audience. What is that? Come back Come after, after the, the show. It's good, you got the angles, you got the angles. Okay, this is my good side. No, it ain't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, uh, by show of hands, how many of you have been to a butt show before? Okay. Look at that, the flock has returned. Okay. Now, who's never been to a butt show? Well, there we go. Okay. There we go. That Break doesn't even add up. Guys in. Some of you aren't voting. <laughs> Millennials, get it together. Okay. Come on, like, we're in a mess, y'all. All right, we're getting, we're getting, you're getting butt show. Can we get another drink? All right, I'm not your real father. Okay. How many of you don't really care and just want us to start the show? Yeah! All right, all right, let's do this thing. Order! Order in the court. Court is now in session. Please raise your right hand. I'm prepared to be sworn in. Get him up. What? This is Kansas City. Most of you are used to this. If you're from St. Louis, you still are used to this. Repeat after us. Public education, ladies and gentlemen, strikes again. He does that. He does. I know he does. I audience. I audience. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To treat this court with respect. By yelling and screaming and tipping and leaving. By yelling and screaming. And I also swear to not watch all the show. Just to duck out at the last second and not tip us, even though we did a really good job because you're saving all of your money for beer. Beer! Beer! My people. Nailed it. There we go. All right, take your seat. Good now, job. By joining us in this audience today, you have all unwillingly volunteered yourself for jury duty. That's right. She's going to be an emancipated minor by the end of the show. <laughs> You'll be able to run free. I'm joining the Joust. <laughs> but that's right. You all will be listening to our arguments, and when I make an intelligent, well-informed argument that my brother's tiny little brain couldn't possibly comprehend a defense to, he will object. In which case, I need you good people to overrule his objection by saying... Sexy, just the way I like my audience. Well, I like it. You know? Now, when I make an argument about my brother with this tall, slender frame and that strong jawline. Are you like writing a personal line? Oh, <laughs> my man, I can see it right now. Farmers only M for M. Anytime. <laughs> now, when I make an argument that he disagrees with, he will object to which I need you good people of the court to overrule that objection by, by saying. saying oh. Oh. Now, before we begin, we need to test our equipment. That's right, we need to test our AAS. That is our audience applause system. Now, had this been a real test, you would notice that either my brother or myself would be covered from head to toe <laughs> in delicious mud. Remember, this is only a test. And it goes a little something like this. Bam! Yeah. Yeah. Delay pedal on, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. Okay. Um, it's, you know, it's it's both sides. Let's get both sides participating and let's try it again. And it goes a little something like this. Spring break, fifteen twelve. All right. I feel validated. 
and the only way to lift the curse was for the princess to receive a kiss from her one true love. <laughs>
Rapunzel, Rapunzel. My heart is a flutter. I can't wait to see her lovely young face and for her to see me. But I've rode and I've rode for many long nights. I have not faith in weeks. I have one change of tights. I'm in no shape to woo her. I'm too foul, I fear. Yo, man, she sounds hot. <laughs> We need 
need to go back. Back to the future! Back to a different time. Back to the 80s! The 1580s! I knew it, Dewey, they hate the Renaissance. So do we. Hey, you guys want the 1980s? Y'all remember this? No. Obviously not. No, I am not Rick James, or Millie Vanilli, or Joe Dirt. I'll tell you who I am. I was sustaining my rock and roll lifestyle by taking a summer job as a dirty dancing instructor at a retreat for rich suburbanites. I was a young, strapping lad of 35. I fell in love with a beautiful, sweet, doe-eyed girl of 17. Apparently not illegal in the 80s. Okay, but of course, her father did not approve of the union. I knew the only way to win the heart of our community and legitimize our endless love was through the art of dance. <laughs>
our new partnership is to perform our father's ultimate fun drive together. What do you think? Thank you so much.